It's a shame NASA lost their moon landing technology from the 60s, because some of it was incredible, as we're about to see. So this is old school NASA footage from the Gemini program, which was essentially the proving ground for the supposed moon landing which was to follow. It's a short clip. See if you can spot the lost technology here, which is incredible, if you ask me, with the, the capabilities they had. Uh, we'll watch the clip, and then we'll come back, and we'll have a little look at the clip in question on loop. It's ridiculous. But like I say, see if you can spot the obvious problem. The docking portion of the mission was cancelled when visual inspection of the ATDA confirmed telemetry reports that the docking adapter shroud had not completely separated. Several different rendezvous methods with the ATDA were undertaken and successfully completed. Now this part is a kind of secret. This is the rendezvous from above. We're coming down on the ATDA over the Indian Ocean. And so you really know you're moving. Here we're plunging down from above, and the ATDA is going across uh, over the Indian Ocean. We've just passed the Sahara Desert. We're coming into less than a thousand feet now. There's no question that you're really moving at 18,000 miles an hour, and you almost get the feeling, as was mentioned earlier. It... So, did you spot the problem? I suspect most of you did. The astronaut had told us he was doing 18,000 miles an hour in his spaceship, attempting to rendezvous with another spaceship, which we can see just out on our screen there on the right. And this did make for a very fast, wonderful story. 18,000 miles an hour in a spaceship in 1966. Wonderful stuff. The problem is, when we viewed the footage, we're left with only two choices here. One. Some of NASA's lost moon technology involved an incredible braking and accelerating system. As we can see, the spacecraft go from 18,000 miles an hour, as we're about to see as it comes loops back round, apply a brake, stop dead, allow the other spacecraft to catch up, and then go from zero to 18,000 miles an hour straight off the bat. Look at that. Incredible technology. Let's see it again. Lads, we're going too fast. Apply the brakes. Right, it's caught up. Hit hit the accelerator. Whee! That is some incredible technology, guys. Braking from 18,000 miles an hour to zero in one second. And then restarting from zero miles an hour to 18,000 miles an hour in one second. Incredible stuff. So is this lost moon technology that NASA have been telling us about? Or is this the other option? This is a special effects meltdown. I suspect this is probably balloon footage and then having a spacecraft like the one on the right here layered in. The problem is whoever did the balloon footage and the layering in didn't check the consistency of the balloon flight. And as a result, we get the so-called spacecraft stopping dead. Obviously, this balloon footage has been sped up to give you the impression it's a spacecraft orbiting a scientifically impossible globe Earth. But no spaceship can go from 18,000 miles an hour to zero in one second, allow a craft to catch up, and then go back to 18,000 miles an hour in another second. Clearly ridiculous, clearly wonderful stuff for a channel like this, because we just love bash in space. <laughs> in case you're wondering, just before I go, what craft they were attempting to rendezvous with, look at this, Tosh. To the world besides Houston when we fly. <laughs> One thing, this is the reaction control system for the ATDA. That was the same reaction control system that Wally and I had on Gemini 6. It was taken out and reused again. Gotta be honest, love the old school space stuff. What most of us know is like kind of the Thunderbirds era. Thunderbirds style space props and models. And ridiculous claims. And sadly now, lost technology. 
an accelerating system that enables you to go from zero to 18,000 miles an hour in a vacuum in just one second. And of course, not forgetting the braking system. You can go from 18,000 miles an hour in a vacuum to zero in just another second. Incredible stuff.